So Springfield just sent me back my um, Springfield XD subcompact. This is the one that I had sent out that had a finish done on it. Um, these guns are empty, even though the cocking indicator shows that it's uh, cocked. As you can see, the chamber flag is not up, so it's nothing in the firearm. Okay. Now, I sent this, you know, if you watch my channel, I did a video on me stripping all the finish off this gun. This is the same gun and uh, polishing it. Well, I got two friends of mine. They did the same thing with different guns. It, they weren't Springfield XDs, but they, was, they did the exact same thing. And their guns are rusting on them, including the barrels. So I didn't want that to happen. I contacted Springfield. They told me. With the uh, polish job that I did, they could put a coating on it to um, help with the uh, rust problem before it start. And uh, they said, but it's gonna the slide is gonna be real slippery to rack. So I said, no, nah, just um, I, I didn't want to do that. I wanted them to just uh, put the black finish back on it. And they said they can do that, and they would give me a deal on the Hellcat, uh, getting the finish done on it also. So this is the job they did. It looks fantastic look brand new looks nice and i dropped this gun you can't there's the little spot where i dropped it at long time ago they put my night sights back on for me trigicon hds they 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 did the barrel they did the guide rod and they also put a new frame on it. Remember, I stippled the old frame. Um, so the gun looks brand new again. But I had since then bought another XD. This is the same gun in 40. Except this got the satin finish. This gun, when I bought it, again, this gun is empty. It's still got the uh, standard uh, sights on it. This gun is empty. When I bought this gun, this gun came with one nine, nine round magazine, and then it came with a 10 round mag. I checked again, but that's all they shipping with. So that was a little disappointing. When I bought this gun years ago, I thought I bought this gun in 2009. But I bought, I, I got all the paperwork for all the guns I own, and I found out I bought it in 2013. And this gun came with um, a nine round magazine, even though I can get 10 rounds in here. So a nine round magazine and a 12 round mag. Now it says 11, but if I lift this sleeve up, it's gonna say 12. So I can, uh, I, this is a 12 round magazine. I have two of these, by the way, you know, so I barely ever use this 10 round mag. But I just wanted you to see the job that they did. Looks brand new. I will admit, I do think the satin finish on this gun looks beautiful. I think it looks better, but you know, and I do like the handle it grips I have on here. I put these handle it grips on here. Neither gun came with this pinky extension. I had to put both of the pinky extensions on both of them. But I do like the handle it grips on here that I put on here better than these uh, talon grips. This grip tape. Now I had these laying around for a long time. I, I noticed they was there, so that's why I put these on. Just, you know, um, I... I was going to order some more handle it grips, but since these been laying around, I just thought I'd throw these on. Now, this gun was very popular, this XD subcompact, you know, to the Glock 26 years ago, years and years ago. It was very popular. It was right behind the Glock 26. This gun got swept to the side because of the M&P uh, lineup. Not the Smith & Wesson SDVE uh, series, but the m and uh, lineup. Because the police officers was adopting that gun. A lot of uh, countries was starting to adopt that gun. And uh, it basically swept this gun to the side. 
So it was the Glock, the M&P, and everything else. But this is still a great gun. Don't slip on it. Now, I don't carry this gun anymore. Neither one of them. I don't carry... Um, well, this is going to be a safe queen, to be honest with you, because it looks so nice. I use this for home defense. Out when I'm carrying... Well, most of the time when I'm out hiking, I'm going to be hiking with this or my uh, Glock 27. But this will be used basically for home defense, you know, um, and a range toy, basically. So with this one, but this one be used when I'm hiking, you know. A lot of people didn't like this gun back in the day. They had re reservations because of the large bore axis up here, you know. They didn't like the grip safety back here. They didn't like the cocking indicator. They didn't like the chamber flag indicator. They said all these things would um, fail on you. These are things that would fail. They, Glocks never had anything like that. Well, I can tell you personally, uh, from my personal experience, when I was down south with my cousins them, now I was open carrying. Now they hunt down there. I don't hunt. I just hike. I was just hanging out with them and um. They had, this was what, 2014? They had a, a huge, back then, I don't know if it's, it's going on now, you know, I haven't checked, but they had a huge hog problem down there, hog infestation. They was, uh, uh, feral hogs was uh, eating up crops, destroying property and stuff like that. And people down there had the, the green light to take them out. Well, we was out hawking, uh, hiking in the woods one time and a group of them uh, charged us. Well, me in particular, one of them charged me in particular. You know, I dropped this gun in, in some mud, thick mud. I had to dig around to find it because I dodged the hog and they fast and funky too. That's what one things I can remember. You know, I've never been that close up on a hog, but they, they big. Well, I had to dig around in the mud to find the gun. And when I pulled it out, you know, it was, it had stopped and turned and looked at me. I fired off two warning shots in the ground, didn't sway it at all. It charged me again, and I neutralized this ass with two more shots, 40, okay? My cousins, now, um, they got the hog, cleaned it, you know, cooked and ate it. I didn't, but my point is, is with all these things that people keep saying will fail on you, I pulled the gun right out of the mud and fired it immediately. No, I ain't have an issue with it. So I still love this gun. Now, here's the finish on the Hellcat they just sent me. Now, if you look at one of my old videos, I just did a video about um, this gun versus my P365X. And you, it was a lot of holster wear on the gun. Me, I would rather drop a gun and scratch it personally, you know, by mistake. And then I wouldn't care about it. But when I'm putting the gun in a holster, I don't want the holster marring up the gun. The gun goes in a holster. It should it should be a, a way where it's not getting all marred up like that, you know. But they, again, did an excellent job. They gave me a sick deal for both of these. The gun looks brand new again. I bought a um I bought this holster. I bought this holster with liner in it off Amazon for my Hellcat cuz this is my carry option, okay? This and my P365X. That's going to help with the uh holster wear that's why i bought it okay now i'm not going to carry these guns again like i said these are basically uh range toys uh hiking and home defense um it just can i carry them of course i can you know it's just with the hellcat and a p365x these guns you will forget they're on you well me i completely will forget i've 
I had this gun one time and I was going someplace I wasn't supposed to have a gun on me and I had to turn around and take it back in the car because I completely forgot it was on me. That's a good thing. That means you carry in comfortably, you know. I have never forgotten this was on me because of how thick it is. Can I carry it? Of course I can. This was my... Uh, this was my primary carry gun. I can carry it, but I'm this, the Glock 27, uh, you absolutely know those guns are on you, okay? This was the uh, first subcompact I bought. I had bought a Glock 22, completely um, tricked by the store clerk. He was telling me, get the Glock 22, which is a 40 caliber full duty gun. I was a newbie. I didn't know nothing about it. I bought it. Could not carry it because it was so big. I went back and bought this one and was in heaven. And then two years later, because like I said, I thought I bought this in 2009, but the paperwork showed I bought it in 2013. Two years later, 2015, I bought an M&P shield and was really in heaven, you know? So it don't make sense for me to carry guns. I can carry them, but it don't make sense for me to do that Unless I'm open carrying these guns when I got a, a much more comfortable option out there. It's just ridiculous to do that. You know, if I want to carry 40, then I'll do it. Okay. And then you have, um, this is the nine millimeter. This is a Hellcat 13 rounder. The technology of the nine millimeter done, uh, got better. So I am much more comfortable carrying one of these personally. When it comes to home defense, I will slap this fun stick in here. This is a range uh, fun stick, or if I'm going to have this gun on a nightstand, this is more likely it's going to be inside of it. This is a 20 rounder Pro Mag. If you get you a Pro Mag that runs, keep it. Don't give it away. Don't sell it because the next three you get is going to be trash. Pro Mags is notorious for selling junky uh, magazines. So when you find one that runs, and this runs great in both, keep it, you know? But I just wanted y'all to see the finish on it. People been asking me about the Glock 43X MOS. You know, I did a video on the problems I was having. I, they sent it back to, I sent it to them. They sent it back to me. Um, but they never fixed the problem. They didn't even look at that particular problem. So I contacted them. I end up sending it back again. So it should be back sometime this week. I will unbox it and explain everything about it when it comes back. And people have also been asking me, do what's my, what am I carrying now? You know, so I'll go into detail in, in another video about that. So just wanted y'all to see what type of job Springfield does when it comes to their finish. Gun looks nice. Both of them. I am happy to have this firearm back. It looks great. Okay, peace.